Okay, so let me uh, do this question. This is out of our kinematics problem set. Uh, this one covers what we call a relative velocity, which we don't focus on a whole lot, um, but you might get some of these questions. So let me do this one as an example so that you have some framework to think about how to approach questions like this. So it says, uh, it's talking about some raindrops dropping vertically um, at some speed. And I think this is the speed of its uh, uh, vertical speed that, uh, that it's saying. And since it's saying relative to Earth, let me just uh, draw a representation of Earth. So I have some way to think about it. When I answer physics questions, I like to kind of doodle to make sure I have a correct mental image of what the question is describing. So it says there is an observer in a car. Just describe this as a car or a cart. There's an observer here who is moving um, at some speed in a straight line. Uh, measure as the speed of okay. And it says a straight line. It didn't quite say horizontal. I'm going to assume that they meant it's someone um, who's traveling horizontally because that's how cars travel. I mean, it could be going in a hill, but let me not make things complicated. This is what I think this picture is trying to describe. And uh, if somehow it says my answer is wrong, then I'll try to see what I, what I could have missed. But this is the image in my head as I read the description in the question. So it's asking, what does this observer measure? So, this is one reference frame, one where Earth is not moving and everything is measured relative to Earth. And what the question is asking for is imagine a different set of coordinate axis where this observer is at rest. So I'm imagining um, kind of the reference frame, uh, which <laughs> it connects better to the material we are, we are covering this week, uh, Newton's laws. <laughs> um, so in the reference frame where the observer is at rest, so, um, so I guess in this reference frame, imagine you are sitting in a car looking at the trees that are passing you by. So the earth is moving at some speed that uh, I think it, most people get this intuitively. In the reference frame where the observer is at rest, Earth is moving uh, backward, basically, at, uh, at the same speed that the observer was moving before. So for this uh, raindrop, as you consider the raindrop in this reference frame, I think it's a vertical velocity won't change. This velocity um, will be the same. Now, for this raindrop to be at rest in the Earth frame, horizontally it's moving along with the earth backward. So it's going to develop this, uh, this horizontal component of a velocity. So in the observer's reference frame or the, the velocity of the raindrop relative to the observer will look something like this. This will be velocity of the raindrop relative to observer. So, it asks, what is speed of the raindrop? Oh, so it's just asking for the magnitude of this vector, relative velocity. So the, what the question comes down to is, it, it once you get down this far, it becomes a geometry problem. It's a question of finding this hypotenuse. And for this question, I think we are given the x and y component of um, this vector. So. Let me just to write out this uh, Pythagorean theorem uh, formula, the hypotenuse here, the magnitude of the speed of the raindrop is equal to square root of the square of the two legs, Vx squared plus Vy squared. So the answer here is, I guess it's the quickest to do it on a calculator. So let me do it that way. I do want to illustrate sage math at some point, um, but maybe not today. So x component squared plus y component squared. So that's the 
quantity that's under the square root, let me take the square root. So 21.08. is the speed of the raindrop as measured by the, the observer in the car. Um, yeah, so let's just double check that system will agree that it's correct. And I think uh, what uh, drawing these figures help you uh, think through is, um, helps you realize that it's a vector question that you have to think about this right triangle and you, you have to uh, calculate the magnitude of a, of a vector. Um, it, it walks you through all the trigonometry stuff that people uh, often forget about when they get to see this. Uh, 